Hey, so it's Dr. Glenn Davies from Reversal NZ Lifestyle Medicine Clinic and Reverse T2 Diabetes Topol. And I'm going to talk this morning about the lymphatic system, described as the Cinderella of medicine because it is so underappreciated. And I have to agree with that. I knew very, very little about the lymphatic system. But it turns out that it's incredibly important um, for managing chronic inflammation and inflammation behind is behind all chronic health conditions. Uh, and this article comes from Gerald Lemol, uh, and I found this incredibly interesting. So what's the lymphatic system? So, you know, we have our cardiovascular system where the heart pumps uh, oxygenated blood uh, out, it then comes back to the heart uh, through the veins, so out through the arteries and in through the veins, so that's the arterial system, but working beside that is a low pressure system called the lymphatic system, which has been pretty much ignored, but is really, really important, so let's have a little look at it. So what's the lymphatic system's job? So overall its job is to remove chronic inflammation but it removes toxins, it uh, balances fluids, uh, it signals to the immune system and is really responsible for immunity. It removes cancer cells. Um, so lots and lots of important functions. And let's start looking at uh, just some of these aspects. So uh, in the heart, and to be quite honest, I knew nothing about this, but it's been demonstrated that if you damage the lymphatic system in the heart, you can cause atherosclerosis in the arteries of the heart. You can cause narrowing of the heart arteries if you damage the lymphatic system. And why is that? So interestingly, oxidized cholesterol, uh, which we've spoken about before, uh, that's removed, normally removed from the heart by HDL. If you damage the lymphatic systems, it gets stuck in the artery wall. And it turns out that that oxidized cholesterol moves through, right through the artery wall into the lymphatic system and is removed from the heart tissue by the lymphatic system. So if you damage the lymphatics in the heart, the cholesterol gets stuck there. I had no idea about this. Um, that was news to me. And then it's so important into the brain. So we were taught back in medical school that the brain and the nervous system did not have a lymphatic system, but that's not true at all. And in fact, the proteins which can cause damage to the brain, uh, particularly in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, so in Alzheimer's that's beta amyloid, and in Parkinson's it's alpha synuclein, and that is removed by the lymphatic system. And interestingly, 70% of that function occurs during sleep. So it's even hypothesized that poor sleep could be part of the cause uh, of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. And then in the gut, so the majority of the lymphatic system is in the gut. Uh, so large proteins and fats uh, in the diet are carried back into the blood circulation uh, through the lymphatic system in the gut. Um, the lymphatic system is there to prevent uh, toxins uh, that might uh, leak through the gut wall, uh, not causing an abnormal immune response. And then cancer cells. So cancer cells can travel in the lymphatic system and so if the lymphatic system is not functioning properly there's a chance that the cancer cells um, might not be normally removed and they're removed by uh, natural killer cells. So the lymphatic system is really important uh, but what do we do to keep your lymphatic system healthy and I think number one is exercise. So the cardiovascular system, the heart is the pump, 
But in the lymphatic system, it's a low pressure system and the muscles of the body are the pump. So when your muscles contract, that moves the lymph um, up or around. Uh, there's valves that stop it from falling back and then the muscle contracts again and it moves again. So all forms of exercise are hugely important for the lymphatic system. And then the special lymphatic system in the brain, uh, that's where sleep is important. But uh, yoga tends to be particularly useful for the lymphatic system. Uh, massage is important. Uh, and as always, uh, diet is so important. But specifically, certain spices uh, seem to dilate the lymphatic system and increase lymphatic movement. And they are garlic, onion, cloves, uh, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, oregano, and turmeric. And then finally, uh, let's not overload the lymphatic system, uh, asking it to remove too many toxins from the body. So make sure that the diet is pure and try and avoid as best as possible environmental toxins. For example, uh, avoid microwaving and plastic. Uh, try and avoid um, breathing in diesel fumes. So if you're attaching the trailer to the back of the car, um, how about we turn the engine off before we get down there uh, and, and do that. So, the lymphatic system, I really had underappreciated it, as I think medicine does in general. Uh, but lifestyle medicine um, seems to be the key uh, to managing the lymphatic system, as it does to every other aspect of health. So, the lymphatic system, the Cinderella of medicine.